but you did say I could ask you yes. is the question of how are you really doing? Mm -hmm. Because I do know and believe that it is a layered thing, but people really want to know how are Am you I doing? really doing? Um, so the most honest answer is that I'm covered mm. and I'm blessed, mm. but I'm still trying to figure that out. My name is Key Simone. If you are new here, I want to say welcome. And if you're returning, I want to say welcome back, girl. Welcome back to another episode of my early 30s diaries. More specifically, a uh, fall reset. It's Friday, so happy Friday or whatever day it is that you're watching this. If you hear any heavy breathing, a lot of shaking, y'all, internet, um, niece and nephew is with me. Says, thank you, but today, well, really this weekend, I'm just going to be getting my life together, y'all. Fall is in two days. It's September 20th and life has been lifing, okay? School is a lot, life is a lot, just everything, okay? I think it was necessary, well I think it is necessary for me to get myself together and this is around the time that a lot of people start to slip into a seasonal depression. Personally, fall is my favorite season. Not only am I a fall baby, but I just love the cool weather, I love the coziness, I love the fashion, I love the food, all of the things. Even though fall is my favorite season, I do have a lot going on in my life right now and y'all, I really just want to, I don't know, crawl into a hole and not be an adult right now. But the world does not work that way. I really was not gonna vlog this weekend, but I wanted to just because I wanted to motivate anybody right now who may want a little uh i don't know fall reset ideas or maybe you just need a little bit of motivation to keep yourself from falling into a fall slum i have a lot of things to do i have cleaning to do i have homework to do i have organizing to do i have some decorating to do we just have a lot of things and also i just want to tap into some cozy things that i love to help make times like this more comforting because let's face it when things start happening in your life there's no way that you can fully get away from it because life is going to life, but you have to find ways in order to cope. You have to find ways in order to keep going. And that's basically what I'm gonna be doing in this vlog. So again, if you're new here, welcome girl. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your post bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And also don't forget to slide on over to Instagram and TikTok and follow me there at underscore Kismo. I have just pulled up to the groomer. First things first on this list of fall reset is getting my kids taken care of, okay? They need a fall reset too. Y'all see my baby face? Y'all see my baby face? Do you see my baby face? As crazy as her hair look, that's how the inside of my brain is right now. Frazzled. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead, drop them off. Their appointment is in 10 minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and take them in. I need to take them in one at a time um, because I'm a one woman show. Hey mama. Hey stinky boy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and run inside and drop them off and then I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. Okay, so the kids are dropped off. I closed the sunroof because child is hot. It is 88 degrees. We just pulled up to TJ Maxx. I do want to do some fall decor and just with my, like my mood and my mental right now, normally I would have said if that. I would have been like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not doing anything. But I think that one really important thing to remember is, you know, when you do feel like life is getting too much, like I said before, to do things that you know um, that you know are gonna make you happy, that you know are going to cheer you up in some way. It's, of course, it's not gonna fix everything, but it's gonna cheer you up in some way. And having some cozy, comforting fall decor uh, and I guess retail therapy, that's gonna make me feel better, okay? I just came to a TJ Maxx that was close to the doggies groomer. There's a Walmart right behind it, and so I can stop in there and grab a couple of groceries because I do want to make some um, lasagna soup tonight. I feel like that that's gonna be really comforting. I would love to have a glass of wine and some lasagna soup <laughs> after all the cleaning and everything that I'm about to be doing. So um, yeah, we're about to do that.
Look at the babies. Hey, stinky butt. Get your pretty mama. Hello. Sit. Sit. Look at the handsome man. You look so good. You look so good. Girl, look at you. You showing everybody your haircut and your bath? Okay, hey y'all, so we have made it back. Hopefully y'all can't really hear my wash machine. I mean my dryer like that. I just put the dog's beds in the dryer because I washed them when I was gone. Also, if y'all see that fat ass crumble cookie box um, in the background, you don't. I wanted to give y'all a quick TJ Maxx haul of everything that I got because y'all, if I would have went to like Home Goods or something like that, I would have spent like $600. So let's get into it real quick because I still need to like clean. I need to clean the living room, the kitchen, um, the bathroom, more importantly, organize under my sink and organize the closet. But since it's already 5 20 p.m and i'm exhausted from running around all day quite honestly and i'm hungry i think i'm just gonna do the kitchen and the living room today i'm still gonna vacuum the bedroom vacuum the office but as far as cleaning the bathroom organizing under my sink and organizing the closet that's gonna have to get done tomorrow we gotta take it one step at a time <laughs> first i'm gonna start off with the candles i got this falling leaves candle Oh, it smells so good. It just smells, it just smells like fall. It just smells so good. This big candle I got for $12.99. The next candle that I got is, this is called Sand and Paws. I really hate that they put this freaking sticker here right in the front, but this candle was also $12.99, which is crazy because that one is huge. Um, it's called Weathered Spice and it's from a brand called Sand and Paws. And um, I think I've seen seen this brand before but i've never gotten it but basically it's supposed to neutralize pet odor so we clean very often in this home we get our carpets clean twice a year we not with the house smelling like dog okay the carpets have actually been marinating while i've been gone so yeah <laughs> we don't play that but when i saw these i was like oh good and it's a fall scent so weathered spice um, the falling leaves that one smells like really fresh like woody earthy oh this one this one kind of smells like a very very subtle like mahogany teak wood mm, smells very good it's a um two wick candle and look at the widow doggies look at the widow doggies that is so cute the next one is from sand and paws as well it says neutralizes pet odor but i don't know what the fragrance is oh cedar and lavender cedar and lavender perfect fall scent it's like the cedar like gives it like a sweet like cognacy woody smell and of course y'all know what lavender smells like so it's really good it's a one wick candle and this one was $7.99 then i also got this apple honey butter like we really don't like food scents but i kind of got this one just for decoration and then once we start running out of um candles to burn in here then i probably will burn this but um the apple and honey butter I got it because it smells like that traditional like red potpourri smell. If y'all know, y'all know. If y'all mamas had potpourri in y'all house growing up, then you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it, it has like a light apple scent and like potpourri. So it doesn't smell like super foodie. We don't like like sugar cookie and brownie and all that smell. We don't We don't like food smells, but that's really good. It's fresh, it's crisp, and I love it. And then the last candle that I got is teakwood and oak. Wouldn't be falling here without any type of teakwood scent. And it's so, it smells so good. So this is not a super intense teakwood. The oak, honestly, it should be called like teakwood and cypress or something because it kind of smells like a body wash. It smells very clean. It smells very fresh. It smells like soap. It smells like men's soap. And I kind of like that. I think that this might go in our bathroom just because it has like that soapy clean type of smell and this one was $7.99 as well I don't know why y'all look so dark now we can get into the decor even though the candles are like 
kind of like decor because not only do they smell good but they're here to look good as well so i got these orange pillows we have like a cool tone living room if this is your first time here then you will have not seen our living room but if you know you know we did have a lot of brown furniture in here a while back um but we wanted to like brighten it up because we have such dark cabinets and like the brown on brown it was just giving very much auntie up in here so we wanted to cool it down we had a brown table brown couch girl all that so i was like what type of fall colors would go good with like cool tone decor so orange and green burnt orange and green so these um two pillows these are by brentwood originals it's a two pack and they were they're $24.99 originally $38 such a steal the next set of pillows I got were these cute tricolor pumpkins it's a white one an orange one and then like a darker orange one I think I'm gonna mix these up on the couch with the orange pillows so super cute I'm glad that there's a white one in here just to add like a little bit of um like you know different differential depth of color and then because right now we have a gray and a white pillow we'll see how i'll set them up but i thought these were super cute and as you can see we're going for a fall theme and not a halloween theme we're not really big halloween people we don't really uh decorate for halloween we don't really dress up for halloween i don't have anything against halloween but it's just not our thing for real and we're always celebrating my birthday on halloween weekend so we're just not really Halloween people. So we were going for more of a fall vibe. And then we also have a gray, dark gray throw on our couch right now. So I opted for this nice plush, like burnt orange throw. Um, it was $24.99. It's super thick, super heavy duty. It just looks so comfy. I just, mm, and it has like a smooth inside. And the outside is like this. I don't even know what you want to call it but it's everything i was like yeah that'll be the perfect pop and now i'm starting to feel like maybe i got too much orange but i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see i still got my receipt so just in case i can take some stuff back so the next thing that i got because our bed um our bedding is like gray and a dark gray as well so um instead of the orange i wanted to go for green in the bedroom so i got a, this green throw it was $29.99 and it's from the Lucky brand. Super soft, but not as heavy as the orange one, um, just because it'll get super hot on the bed. And then to add on with our um, pillows, because we have like white and gray um, pillows on our bed, just to add a splash of green. This is a two pack plush pillow set and it's $24.99 and it's from Brentwood Originals I think yeah the orange pillows were also from Brentwood Originals so yeah super plush and oh my gosh like look at it it's just so mm, I love it I love it okay so that's all for like pillows and blankets our last little bit of decor I wanted to get a couple of like um other decorative pumpkins since I got the pumpkin pillows this cute clay pumpkin it's very textured what is with the lines I don't know why it's doing that can y'all see that okay I don't know what's going on but uh I don't know y'all I just got this my new camera so bear with me but I got this white pumpkin it has like a little brown stem <laughs> a brown stem and it's like nice and textured really nice and it was $6.99 then I did get a glass pumpkin basically like a sand sandy brown color just to break up some of that orange that's why i got the white and that's why i got this sandy brownish beiges it has a detailing on it like sand i don't know if y'all can tell like it's it's like a sandy texture super cute they charged me 12.99 when they went to go price check it and then i got yet another pumpkin <laughs> and this one is like a brown like wooden woven crochet type of pumpkin around to break up some of this orange this one was 9.99 super super cute i love this i just thought it was different like i wanted the pumpkins like if i had like a pumpkin theme like i wanted them 
to all be kind of different. Then we also have this little wooden tray here. I absolutely love this. It's super like heavy duty. Like I want to put like um, candle in here. I wish I had like some little statue. Like if I would have like looked around for, I don't know, like a cute little statue or figurine or something like that. But I don't know, we'll figure it out. I just thought this tray was so cute. It has these little gold legs and it was $12.99 if I did not say that already. I also got these towels. These are just kitchen towels. I plan on hanging these on the oven. So just a little two pack again with the pumpkin. It's clearly giving pumpkin head in this house, okay? Um, when I was in the checkout line, the line was so freaking long. So of course, you know, when you're standing in the long line, you're like looking at all the stuff along the sides. I got this home fragrance. It's from AP Fragrance and it is called, you guessed it, pumpkin, <laughs> golden pumpkin. It smells so good. If y'all remember Pure One, Pure One has been closed for a long time. If y'all remember that home store, Pure One, raise your hand in the comments. If you're a millennial girly, then you know your mama was probably shopping at Pure One because I know my mom was. This reminds me of how it smelled in Pure One when we would go in there and shop. Because I sprayed it in the store and I was like, yeah, you're coming with me, okay? You're coming with me. You smell like fall. And the last two things that I got were these. This is like a, I don't know, some little wooden, faux wooden sticks with some little white pumpkins on it. And then just some, I don't know, I guess these, what color would you call this? Like a yellowish, like a burnt yellowish leaf. Look like fall to me. The pumpkin one was $9.99 and this leaf one was $12.99. So all in all, we did really good for our shopping y'all i'm exhausted okay like i said life really just been life in i woke up so many times last night i could not sleep i could not sleep and then like i did i wasn't having bad dreams but i was having very weird dreams and so yeah i don't know i didn't i didn't get enough sleep last night i'll, I'll tell you that much which is why i'm splitting my cleaning up you have homework to do so i don't know i guess that might happen in the morning. <sighs> Y'all, it's just a lot. But I want to go ahead and get some of this out the way because I feel like me decorating in here is going to help like my mood. It's gonna help me feel more cozy, comforted, and warm. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, try to get some order in this home. And y'all wish me luck. I'm gonna give myself like an hour hour and a half tops whatever i don't do it's for tomorrow baby it's for tomorrow okay okay you cannot clean your house without the gym plan
hold on, hold on, speed it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, speed it up. Hold on, speed it up. Speed it up. Scotty, Hattie, Charlie, Wally, Charlie, Charlie. My plane, pilot, pilot, don't change, wallet, wallet, no shame, I got it, I got it, couple plane, watch this, watch it, I lay, Versace, I lay, can you it up, speed it up, get it up, get it up, get it up, speed it up, speed it up, day um it's actually the next evening it's 6 15 p.m i have been doing homework all day it's like one of those terms to where it's back to back to back to back to back and unfortunately um this term there was an issue and i don't even know if i like said this yesterday when I was telling y'all how much homework I had to do but in one of my classes um there's a portion where we have to do like an online lab every week there's two labs there's a regular lab and then a performance assessment of what we learned in like the regular guided practice lab and that was unavailable like that whole entire lab platform was unavailable for pretty much the first three weeks of class the entire first three weeks of class so we're having to pile in all the labs from week one through three including weeks four and five because my classes are five weeks and so i've been trying to work through them and mind you some of them are like 45 minutes which is on the short side but some of them are like an hour and a half two hours three hours long depending and then you have to write a summary about what you learned about it afterwards uh, which is some paragraphs and so it's just been taking me a long time and then on top of that just the regular assignments after that so my brain is fried okay i made a big dent in work today but it's just getting late and i have other things that i need to do so i was like you know what i'm just gonna step away from the computer and which it sucks that my brain is fried because now like i have content that needs to be edited do i want to edit it no i don't <laughs> i don't my brain is fried from being in front of any type of computer y'all and it's so like i don't know that mixed with everything that's already on my mind is it's just a lot it's just a lot i'm trying not to be hard on myself because in all reality um some of the things that i want to do can wait but it just sucks whenever you have things going on like you have a lot going on at one time and it takes away from the things that you want to do like the things that you have to do like you have things going on right then you got things that you have to do then you got things that you want to do and that's currently taken away from things that i want to do so i'm trying not to be hard on myself and you know give myself grace and you know just do take it one step at a time yeah i'm gonna have to choose the latter and giving myself grace because the last thing that i want to do is like put myself in a slum and i feel like that that's a very valuable lesson for a lot of us i think that that's a valuable lesson for all of us really because i think that 
you know, we're always so super hard on ourselves, especially as black women. And I can only speak for myself, but sorry, it's dark. It'll, it'll lighten back up in a minute. Um, I can only speak for myself. I'm an only, not only child. I'm definitely not an only child. I'm an oldest child. And I don't know, I've, I've just always had this mindset of, hold on, let me prop y'all up so we can, so we can have a conversation. While I was doing my work, I also was like doing laundry. So I'm about to put the sheets back on the bed. The comforter should be done soon, but um, yeah. I wanted to go ahead and start on that, but I was like, I still wanna, I still wanna give y'all this word, this conversation that I'm trying to have with y'all. I don't even know if y'all are gonna be able to hear me good from way back there. But anywho, hopefully y'all can hear me. I'll talk a little bit louder so that y'all can hear me, but so I am the oldest of two. And to my mother was single pretty much from like middle school on up. Of course she was dating, but I mean single as in like non-married. So a single mother, active duty military, then was out of the military, then was back in the military. So I've always had this mindset of I need to make sure I'm on my P's and Q's. I need to make sure that I'm going above and beyond. I need to make sure that I help. I need to make sure that I am not a burden i need to make sure that i am on my ish and i feel like that even though like nobody sits you down and says well some in some cases you know people will sit you down your parents or your family will sit you down and be like you need to make sure you're doing x y and z but i just always have it ingrained in my mind like you need to make sure that you are doing your best you need to make sure that you are doing above and beyond your best or you're not doing enough and that thought has been engraved in my mind my entire life so any time that i cannot do what i say i'm going to do whether it's for um reasons in my control or not i'm so i i get so i beat myself up over it and i know that a lot of women um again black women specifically can attest to that and especially old, older older siblings the oldest sibling like we have this sense of hyper independence and it's it's just crazy it's just crazy how much things from like your childhood your upbringing your ethnicity your background all of those things can just factor into your everyday life as an adult i don't know I, I just decided to talk about that just because I, I don't know, I'm sure somebody can relate. I always try to remind myself that, you know, the things that I go through, the things that I feel, um, the things that I experience, I'm not alone in them. So I want to be more open about just talking about real life-ish, you know, not exactly, you know, spilling all my business or anything like that, but just talking about real life shit that... I know other people go through, other women specifically go through, just because I know that that could be helpful for someone who does feel like that they're going through it by themselves. I borderline was not even gonna come back onto the vlog today, but I was like, girl, you can at least chit chat with your homegirls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can at least chit chat with your homegirls. I think as far as like my household chores, what I was telling y'all, what I still had to do, instead of doing my closet in the bathroom, I'm gonna do the bathroom, save the closet for tomorrow. I'm like trying to, you know, get myself, give myself a chance to be okay. Cause I really don't wanna work myself to death. Last night, I didn't come back and chit chat with y'all cause it was late. I don't even know if y'all were able to see the time, but I didn't like eat until like i want to say like 10 p.m part of that was also because um i was on the phone with my wife and since i told y'all that she's out of town so part of that was just whatever and then i took a super long shower because i was so tired from yesterday y'all i was so tired from yesterday i didn't even record all of me cleaning just because if you're a vlogger, you know that cleaning and blogging you cleaning, 
is like an extra task within itself <laughs> like it is a lot so y'all seen what y'all seen but yeah slowly but surely we're getting things done again i could be being very dramatic i know somebody in the comments is probably gonna be like girl just sit down take a break but at the same time my brain like my wife has to force me to like take a break sometimes my wife has to like <laughs> tell me like girl you need to relax you need to calm down but i don't know it's just but i have been doing better at making sure that i'm taking care of me physically mentally and spiritually before i do anything else and making that my priority where's my other sock you need to go eat apollo non-judgmental zone this is a non-judgmental channel i'm letting y'all in because y'all are my people okay i, I love y'all my my girls y'all supposed to be my girls when i show y'all under my sink because i told y'all i needed to organize under my sink when i show y'all under my sink i don't want to hear nothing okay i don't want to hear anything earlier this year i showed y'all my spring clean i think i was like spring cleaning or something and we organized under my sink that was back in like March, I want to say. March, February, something like that. My kids want to say, hey, y'all, speak to my children. <laughs> As you can imagine it's now September. Tomorrow's first day of fall. So it's now the end of September. And so you can only imagine that's a lot of months. A lot of things have been purchased, a lot of things have been used, a lot of things have been whatever. Anywho, let's just get to the issue. This is currently what under my sink is looking like. Damn! I know, raggedy, raggedy, okay? This is supposed to be like, I think like makeup stuff back there, like lip stuff, which all that stuff is gonna go upstairs because now that I have a vanity, I don't want any makeup stuff down here. We got hair stuff. We got some skincare stuff, skincare stuff, <laughs> like body stuff, skincare stuff. Like there's stuff back there. This is like my scarves and my little head wraps for when I'm doing skincare, body care. Y'all, it's just, it's just a lot. And we have like hair, more hair stuff back there. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot going on down here. She's like really trying to be in here. And I'm just like, are you gonna help? So yeah, that's what it's looking like up under here. I'm about to get ready to pull all this ish out because I need to purge some things, move some things upstairs, but most importantly, get this ish together because I, like it gives me anxiety opening it, you know? It just, I can't, I can't look like this anymore. Like this ain't right, this ain't right, this ain't right. But I did not have the energy to do this last night. So we about to go ahead get this thing cracking okay try to figure out oh and also <laughs> i have skincare up there as well Mhm. Mm yeah <laughs> we gotta get that under control i'm about to go ahead and pull all this stuff out first <sighs> and then we can start to purge move clean etc etc so embarrassed i'm embarrassed i really am 
Because how is it possible? Oh, hold up now. Bam. I'm embarrassed. Because how is it possible that all this was even <laughs> under my sink? Like, how is possible? I'm not quite sure. Um, I could possibly be a wizard. I don't know. I've watched all the Harry Potter movies. And so maybe it was just a little bit of magic. I don't know, girl. Anywho, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot here that I don't need. Um, and there's a lot here that I will keep. But yeah, we're, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this, y'all. <laughs> Pray for me. Pray for me. Because this is a lot. We about to purge some of this. We're about to organize it. We're gonna get through it, okay? We're gonna get through it. Me and my kids. I don't really think they plan on helping much, but they're here for moral support. So I appreciate them nonetheless. They're here for moral support, so what can I say? You gotta be happy with that. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so that honestly was not bad. I know it still looks like that there's a lot in here, but I think that's the way that it's like portioned out. I had, I removed one of like these little middle ones that I don't even have in there anymore. Still looks like it's a lot just because of the layout that I have under here. And that's just because this cabinet is so freaking small. But for reference, this is everything that is leaving from under there okay so it's a lot <laughs> this is a pretty heavy like sturdy bag okay this is very heavy this is a giant tj maxx bag from yesterday um all this stuff is going upstairs in my makeup room and that will get sorted and organized and all that stuff but at a later date i'm just happy that i was able to get this stuff off the top of my sink i i really need to figure out these lines on the screen that's so aggravating um if anybody knows about this comment down below but i'm just so happy that i was able to get the stuff off of the top of my sink and that i was able to organize this stuff down here so yeah it's a lot less cluttered um all the stuff that I use on a daily is up there as far as skincare goes. Hair stuff, all my restock of my soaps and stuff is back there. Um, I didn't show y'all the whole process because I knew it was going to be like a pretty long extensive one, especially sorting through and trying to figure out what I wanted. But yeah, this bag. Okay, the fall, the fall reset is resetting. Okay, but yeah, this is the giant bag of things that I'm about to throw in the dumpster. Um, but the ball reset is resetting. Knocking that off of my to-do was very much so um, satisfying. It made me feel so much better, especially all the homework that I knocked off my to-do and knocking this off. I know that's like, Girl, that's not that much. But mentally looking at that was giving me the the worst anxiety ever. And I felt like shit about it. And now I feel so much better about it. Um, it's currently 8 p.m. I'm about to toss this away. I'm about to take a shower, eat my leftovers, relax for the night, and yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in the morning. But you just said I could ask you yeah. is the question of how are you really doing? Mm -hmm. Because I do know and believe that it is a layered thing, but people really want to know how are Am you I doing? really doing? Um, so the most honest answer is that I'm covered mm. and I'm blessed, mm. but I'm still trying to figure that out. I believe in order for us to become, we have to unbecome. Mm -hmm. What are your things that you feel like in this season you're working on to unbecome? A 
I'm trying to um, become so controlling of my life. Thanks, but <clears throat> when you're looking like, God, where are you at? What are you doing? What are we doing? This it makes no sense at all. But some way, somehow, yeah, he's still merciful. Yeah, he's still sovereign. He's still graceful. But it doesn't mean that we don't have those human emotions, like you said. I didn't get it. Mm. I didn't get it. And then I had to realize that there are people going through way harsher things than me, and that like, and who am I to not? Who am I not to get it? Who Ooh. am I to not go through this? Okay, hey y'all. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I know I look completely insane again like i said last night this is a non-judgment <laughs> zone okay but happy sunday or whatever day it is that you're watching this i just finished eating breakfast and tuning into my sunday service i've i've shown y'all that sunday service before it's changed church with pastor darius daniels and so sorry about the lighting y'all the sun is going like in and out of the cloud service was really good if i'm 1000 percent honest the past couple of weeks we've been doing so much i hadn't had time or i hadn't made the time to like actually sit down and tune in we would be doing other things or getting ready for something and i'd have service maybe playing in the background or maybe i just play some worship music but like actually getting into the word and soaking up what Pastor Darius had to say. I haven't done that in like three weeks, three weeks. So three weeks, uh, too long. So I wanted to tune in this morning just because like I told y'all, life has been lifing and I just feel like I have a lot on my plate. Oh, this this lighting. I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay, this is so much better. Sorry, <laughs> I needed to move. I wanted to tune into service today just because I wanted to get back to my regular Sunday routine. I feel like that there's been just so much going on. Like I was telling y'all already that it's good to get back into routine, especially when things are going on and kind of throwing you for a loop. The things that inherently would make you want to get off of your routine is the very reason why you should get back to routine yes of course um rest and give yourself grace which i feel like that i have done trying so hard to not be hard on myself but also getting back to a routine and doing the things that you know not only you know that you need to do but the things also that you know is going to make you feel good the things that you enjoy the things that you want to do the things that you know give you life get back to those and that really helps you so i really enjoyed it the word today i feel like was custom tailored for me pd was talking about purpose and destiny and how sometimes we confuse the two together purpose is what you're doing it's the it's the how it's the it's the what and destiny is the where so the what is what's going to get you to the where and all in all just to sum up what i took from that was a lot of times we're so focused on what the end goal is like what what i feel like i need to be or what i feel like god has for me like regardless is always going to be there instead of focusing so much on the destiny whether we think that we have like a pre-determined destiny we can't confuse the two together and the purpose which is coincides with all of the decisions that we make all of the work that we do um all the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis that is going to get us to our destination those things matter and so it had me thinking that my destiny if i want my destiny to be of what God has for me, then I need to be intentional in the steps and what I'm doing and walking in my purpose. And again, I started to think like, okay, does that mean that I just, <laughs> you know, ignore the overwhelm in which there's another video that I was watching last night. The fact that I even brought up the word overwhelm in the video that I watched last night, okay, by Nikki Vontaya. She had uploaded a video, when you're feeling overwhelmed, ignore it. And I clicked on it last night. What she was saying about overwhelm and how, what what the true meaning of being overwhelmed is and what it is, like in comparison to what it is that we feel when we say that we're overwhelmed. 
So that message from that video and along with the message today from the service, it just, to me, I know this, what I'm saying is probably not making sense. <laughs> what I'm saying is probably not making sense. Um, Cause I'm still like processing in my mind right now, but having the conversation with purpose and destiny and then having that conversation with overwhelm, which overwhelm is something that keeps a lot of us from our purpose and therefore keeping us from our destiny. So those two things, like those two messages, like to me, in my mind, they go together real bad and they resonated with me. And I feel like it was no coincidence that I watched that video last night. I'll make sure to leave it down in the comments below. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, um, definitely tune into her video. I highly suggest that y'all tune into that. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have the service from today on Change's Church channel. If they don't, then I'll just leave their channel down below in the description box. But yeah, either way, it brought me to the conclusion that no matter what it is that's going on and which that has basically been the basis for this vlog was to get my life together, a fall reset, um, get my life together, not surrender to seasonal depression, not to surrender to the weight of things that are out of my control and taking accountability when I know that there are things that I could be doing to help myself. You know what I'm saying? But also still be present in the moment and find ways of enjoyment, find ways of comfort um, and I feel like that sometimes once we start getting in those places where we're in our head, we're feeling low, we're overwhelmed, we just sink into a hole. And ultimately that just makes you feel worse. You see what I'm saying? So by me, you know, doing things that I know are gonna help me, but also doing things that I know are going to make me feel good. Both of those things together are going to keep me at a place where I could still continue to press forward. Super long winded, I'm sorry y'all. I just be chatting it up and anywho, I just wanted to share that, that I had a very good message this morning. The agenda for today is going to be to get some order in my closet. <laughs> get some order in my closet first and foremost and then after that the rest of the sunday it's giving self-care it's giving relax it's giving kick your feet up before the sun goes down okay because the last i don't know how many days weeks like it's been late nights early mornings i feel bad because i have not worked out in a couple days just because i've been i don't know i've just been kind of thrown off <sighs> but I think that a good self-care Sunday is in order. Yeah, I'm gonna stop running my mouth. I've been talking to y'all for over 10 minutes at this point. I've been trying not to make my vlogs as long, but I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna be a long-winded vlog type of girl, okay? It's it's always gonna be given an hour vlog. I don't know, that's just, that's just it. I'm so glad that I split all this stuff up into these last three days because trying to do everything in one day and just putting so much pressure on myself is very unhealthy and very not demure and cutesy of me. <laughs> so yeah, let's talk to y'all later. Later, later. Something to say, blew everybody away Wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I'd be more Picking a plate, being a plate She is unruly Never seen her like this Didn't think it existed, no truly Don't get in the way, she's not here to play She'll get moved Don't mistake this girl for being me 
Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no Problems disappear She could tell you the things you wanna hear She could read your mind and that she could believe Of a little lies to tell yourself a time Never get it wrong, it's always right Making the play, being the play She is on a rule Never seen it like this Didn't think it existed, no truth She's not here to play, she'll get moved But don't mistake this girl for being me because we are about to do some skincare y'all I am so um and also this is the skincare that I got from my um esthetician this is a cloud cleanser um she has her own like line of medical grade skincare I think that's how the term is but this is the cleanser it is a um, it's called Cloud Cleanser. It has glycolic acid, salicylic acid, um, cucumber, zinc, and I use this at nighttime. Um, it's not night yet, but it is the evening. What time is it right now? It's 5.30, so um, yeah. <laughs> so I just steamed my face to open up my pores. Um, and I just wanted to come to y'all, do a little skincare with y'all. I love doing skincare and chit chatting with y'all obviously because that's what we do in a lot of my vlogs but y'all I am so proud of myself like the overwhelm that I was feeling even prior to starting this vlog and like the last couple of weeks has been a lot like I'm not even gonna hold you but I think what is so beautiful about tackling things that one that you can handle again i say what i said earlier don't don't put yourself don't compromise yourself if you know that there's something that you can't handle but the things that you know that you can handle sometimes i feel like we tell ourselves that we're overwhelmed or we we cling to the narrative that we're overwhelmed might i say we we may very well so be overwhelmed but sometimes we cling to that so much that it becomes a crutch and we allow ourselves to not do things that we know we very well much so damn can do. I cleaned out my nightstand, which y'all, doesn't sound like a big task at all, right? Doesn't sound like a big task at all. But if y'all would have seen the catastrophe that was the inside of my nightstand, then you would know. My wife, <laughs> it's so funny, I was on FaceTime with my wife and she is so proud, like so proud, like almost like, I graduated kindergarten or something. But that has been something that I have been avoiding for so long, so, so long. Like I see it, I look at it, it gives me anxiety. 
yet I continue to avoid it. Why? Don't know. Cleaned out my office, which has had like mail piled up, important documents filed up that I haven't filed, like old things that needed to be shredded, clutter, just uh, all that. I don't think I recorded that because I didn't want to have to worry about any important documents, mail and all that stuff being on the screen. Um, and also I was on FaceTime with my baby during that time. So um, did that. So happy about that because I was having anxiety while I was doing my schoolwork. Like sometimes I edit in there. Most of the times I don't, but when I do, ugh, cringy. And then of course I have to be in there to do a lot of my homework. And it would give me anxiety. Like I am already have anxiety because I have to do homework. But now I am... I have anxiety surrounding around like the space that I'm in, like just the clutter. It makes my brain cluttered. I can't think. So, so happy about that tomorrow when I go in there because uh, my teacher, thank goodness, thank goodness, my teacher, um, professor sent out a message saying that we'll have class virtually tomorrow. Amen for that because I really did not, really ain't got it. I really ain't got it in me. And then of course y'all saw me tackle the closet. Now I know y'all probably like, girl, what the? Yeah, y'all saw what my closet was looking like. Too much, like terrible, terrible. And it's just things piled up over time. I even had to tell my mom like, cause a lot of that stuff, I don't know if y'all saw boxes like in the corner a lot of that stuff is stuff that my mom has sent me like and although i appreciate the gesture love the gesture down but i cannot take i cannot take anything else baby please don't send me that now now if you there's a couple perfumes that she's sending me that um one is for my birthday and a couple that i want but like all the extra skincare all the extra everything like if y'all have saw any of my like little hauls from the stuff that she sent me in the past then you know girl she just be emptying the clip and i think that's her way of decluttering and giving it to me but i'm like now i'm cluttered i don't have nowhere to put it and i feel so crazy like throwing that stuff away because it's skincare it's stuff but it's like what the hell and so i was thinking in my head you know people who want to be influencers and stuff like that or want to be content creators like you're gonna start getting pr and all that stuff and i'm like wow now I see why people do giveaways with their PR or their PR is like piling up is because you don't know where to put it. You see it and you just have anxiety about it and then you just walk away from it. And it's just like, I don't know, I couldn't deal with it anymore. So I had to deal with that, which I didn't throw that all away. I kind of sorted through some things, took it up to my beauty room in which I will consort it there and honestly I was like dang maybe I should do a giveaway with y'all because a lot of those things I have not used yet um so let me know if y'all would like like a skincare giveaway um fragrance sample giveaway um let me know that down in the comments I would love to do that but since I have my vanity beauty room going on upstairs I was like everything makeup and all that stuff needs to get gone those towels that were piled up on that rack i honestly want to get rid of that and take that upstairs and actually get a towel rack but there's so many towels there it's just me and my wife i think over time we just we're bringing towels down and then from our guest uh towel closet linen closet upstairs and they just started piling up because after we washed them which our washer and dryer is downstairs we just never took it back upstairs and i'm like we're only two people we don't need to have that many towels in rotation okay and if we do have to bring things downstairs for whatever the case may be the dogs made a mess or whatever that stuff needs to go back upstairs okay much better i'm sorry y'all i just wanted to be able to move on to the next step while i was chit chatting what i really 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 want is to have a cloth is like well, not really a cloth is but a closet beauty room but I kind of don't want to do that because I don't want to get super invested in building out the type of closet that I want upstairs just because I know that we don't sorry I'm digging in my nose <laughs> I'm just getting cleanser and water out my nose eventually we're gonna move we're gonna put our house up on the market and um as far as rental property goes and we're gonna move um so I kind of don't want to do that because that's plans for next year and it's like 
I don't know. I just don't want to bring more ish into the house. Like I said, I feel like I do want to do a giveaway. Just because for one, y'all hold me down. By the way, this is her toner. This is um, called Thirsty AF Spray. I just want to give back to y'all for one and for two, declutter, which is the same thing like as I continue to grow and do start getting PR from brands, I'm probably gonna be doing the same thing. Like, of course there's gonna be things that I can keep, but if I'm honest, I can't use everything on my skin. Like, I feel like I've gotten past that stage in my brain where I'm like, yeah, you could just try anything. No, girl. No, girl, I can't, I cannot. The next thing that I'm going to put on is this niacinamide 10% zinc. Um, this is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. Now this is not a part of what my esthetician gave me, but as you can see, I have breakouts. And I just realized and saw that she has acne products but I'm curious as to why she didn't recommend them to me. I don't know, maybe she thinks my skin isn't that bad. I don't know. I think she wanted to just get me to a baseline, but girl, what? Oof, oof. Oh, I really would like that to be gone before I travel. This, just this right here, this, this big boy, and I'm not gonna pop it, I'm not gonna pop it. She told me not to do it, so I'm not gonna do it, but I am going to treat it. <laughs> So I'm gonna pat that in. But all in all, everything that I did accomplish this weekend as far as fall reset of what I wanted to do, I'm very happy about it. In the coming weeks, the things that I realized that I really, really need to do is a clothing purge. I did a clothing purge like in springtime. Um, same thing as under my sink. It's about that time again. There's just things that I've accumulated that I know it's, it's not gonna be in rotation for the rest of the year or going into next year. So I need to do that. I think a clothing purge and a shoe purge, really. I cleaned, organized, did the things that I wanted to do, and I feel so much better about myself. I'm so glad that I pushed through. I don't know if it translated on screen, like the anxiety that I have or like the mental stage that I'm in right now. It may seem like I did it easy, like a breeze, but I promise you, the fact that I was in PJs all day, the fact that I had on my bonnet all day, that I literally got out of bed and just started moving, that may not say a lot to some people, but that says a lot to me because I like to wake up, do my skincare, at least make myself look like something, lay my edges down, even when I'm in the house. And I didn't do that and I haven't been doing that. So the fact that I have a been able to check things off my to-do list, which is, it gives you a sense of accomplishment. Um, it motivates you to do other things. So I push to do the little things, which I keep saying these are little things, but to some people, they're not little things. They're heavy tasks like organization, cleaning, organize, throwing stuff away. Like that's difficult for some people. And when you're in a certain type of headspace mindset, it's, it is difficult to do. Um, so I do apply myself for that. I'm very proud of myself for that. And that just lets me know that girl, you got this. The next thing I'm adding on is, um, the hyaluronic acid, a hyaluronic acid serum. Hyaluronic acid, and this is just for moisture. And this is from my esthetician's brand as well. I have been loving this hyaluronic acid serum. I've really been loving her vitamin C serum. I only use that in the morning one time a day because it's a pretty strong vitamin C. <laughs> I just hope that seeing me do these things and the things that I've just been expressing to y'all and just, you know, wanting to be a little bit more transparent about and just share would help someone else who feels like they have a lot on their plate. The, she, the seasons are changing. We're stepping into a new season. I'm getting ready to step into a new season. I'm gonna be 30 freaking one. What? I feel like I just turned 30. It's insane. Next, I'm going in with my Kiehl's um, Ultra Facial Cream. School, y'all, school. I graduate in six months october i won't count september because september is dang near over october november december january february march april okay well i end my last class i start my last class in six months but i graduate in eight months so pretty much we're just gonna say six months <laughs> so that my brain feels a lot better about it 
but y'all i started school over a year ago if you haven't been here that long then hi i'm a full-time student cybersecurity, nearing those in senior classes and it's a lot and the holidays on top of that my wife's birthday is in December. It's just a lot. It just be, it just be a lot. Um, and the next thing I'm putting on is my lip smoothie from Pharmacy. This is the Honey Vanilla Vitamin C Peptide Lip Balm. So freaking good, y'all. So good. It's time to be able to, you know, just shift into this different mindset and move into this next season of my life. And I have to be able to be up for that challenge. I can't expect God to bless me and give me what I want and give me what I ask for and give me what I pray for if I'm not on my end doing what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? So even though, you know, this vlog, again, I wasn't doing major monumental things. These are little things. These are regular everyday life things, but they become a huge challenge when you are in just those really tough seasons. And so being able to do the small things lets me know that I can do the medium things and doing the medium things lets me know that I can do the big things. And so that's pretty much the message for this entire vlog. I don't know what I'm going to title it. Of course, this is the early 30s diaries, um, fall reset, uh, avoiding seasonal depression. I don't know, um, getting my life together. I don't know what it's gonna be, but whatever it's gonna be, I hope that it reaches who it needs to reach and if you need to pray make sure y'all are praying make sure y'all continue to have that open communication with god make sure that you are taking care of yourself okay take care of yourself if there's something that you need do it okay if you, if you need to take a break do it but don't stay there don't stay in this slump because you are going to dig yourself deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and i promise you it's not where you want to be and i'm proud of myself because i'm taking the steps to make sure that i don't get to that place and that's all i can do if you enjoy this vlog make sure that you give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below comment down below something that resonates with you in this vlog comment down below just any questions that you may have um, any advice that you may need or whatever it is that you're battling with right now in this time period I would love to hear it I would love to chit chat with you in the comments below make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on your post bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video and also don't forget to slide on over to Instagram girl especially instagram okay if you don't slide on over to tiktok make sure you slide on over to instagram i just thank you so so much if you made it this far in the vlog thank you girl thank you girl you me and you we are here okay and yeah again giving this video a thumbs up is going to make sure that it reaches like-minded women like yourself and it lets youtube know that this is a good video so yeah um i don't know when i'm gonna start a next vlog i have two content videos that are sitting in the cut um and now this vlog but i want to get this out to y'all because i feel like that this is going to be really helpful for someone so you'll see it sometime soon no promises on the date girl but you'll see it sometime soon i love y'all thank y'all um and i'll see you in my next one Living in my dreams, living in my dreams, living in my dreams, living in my dreams.